Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So Raziel here, and we're about to continue our One Piece adventure. One thing I like to show you, I've updated my skills just a bit. Um, for one, my healing is boosted just a bit. I definitely needed that. And the one thing I did get was distance boost. So now, anytime I dodge, it should be a whole lot faster than it was originally. But best to find some spot where I won't die horribly. Now, we're still looking for our last two members of the Straw Hat crew, which I believe were... No, oh, we got Neko Ramen. So it's, um... Got Zoro. Got Frank. Got some... Actually, we should have everybody. Um, Chopper, Nami, Rono, Zoro, Sanji, Neko Ramen, Robin, and the guy with the arms, Frankie. Oh, my bad. Usa. But it said I'm missing two, so I've got nothing. Again, I'm, I'm still very behind on the show. I've been catching up on some of the episodes, but I still have a long way to go. So let's start with Sapphire Town. Um, I was checking my missions, and right now, a lot of my missions disappeared. I must have covered them in the last episode and didn't realize that I had covered most of them. I remember the one with the little girl, but there must have been others. Um, there's one side quest and one, what is it? The strange yellows are the side quests, but then there's the blue ones, which could be, um, a continuation. One is, uh, it's a karma thing that has to do with Gian. So in time we'll figure that. In fact, I think it's, what is it? Karma off pudding. Gian wants to talk to you. Go to the Sapphire Town Church, where we're here anyway, to hear what she has to say. Meet with the specified person but there's no reward other than that there's strange island rocks that's the gentleman we got last episode who wants me to find a set of strange ore I don't recall how much it doesn't even say how much um check real quick let me see I wish that there was a way where if you went over a symbol it would tell you what the mission was but we'll figure that out another time so for now oh wait what are these triangles here doesn't really say anything so I have no idea what that is we'll figure that out in time but for now let's see if we can find Gian oh whoops highlight that one Okay, so when I highlight a mission, at least it guides, the little cursor guides me to them, so that's good. Needless grass. Sorry, folks, just forgot to do something real quick. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we can actually go in. Nanya. The church is home to kids without anywhere else to go. He has been there the longest. Oh. Well, that explains something. She's like a big sister to all the others. Doesn't she have a sibling, though? I could have sworn they addressed that. Duffy. Hello there. You're a pirate. Yes, I am. Mm. Because from what I've seen, you haven't done any plundering or tricked or cheated anyone. I never heard of a pirate like that before. Which is why I love these former pirates. We love the title pirate because it's cool. And we get to go on adventure. I can't speak today. Get to go on adventures and seek out gold and find different lands, just explore. But because we want that title, that means the Marines are after us because the average pirate loots, pillage, plunders, destroys, and a whole plethora of other things that shall not be mentioned that are not pretty much like the Straw Hat's way. Which is why if I were to be a pirate, I would happily join uh, Luffy's. The only other crew I would probably join, and it's a very thin margin because I barely know much about him I believe he's called Whitebeard but he only has a white mustache I don't get it but he his crew at least from what I've seen so far don't seem to be so bad if anything I have more fun when you're around <laughs> it's a way to be it's like I'm not myself anymore and that's a bad thing but that was it I see why I don't get any rewards uh, yeah, that was it. Just chat with her. Oh well. More pirates. Oh, I meant. Yep. 
Aha! So I'm finally starting to figure this map out. I mean, at least the way things are set up. So I'm following north. That should lead me directly to whichever Straw Hat Pirate is next. I'm aiming for Usopp because I have no idea who else there is. Did I actually get Frankie? I can't really remember. I believe I did. I got him out of a prison, right? Him and Robin. Oh, there we go. What up? I hope GM really is okay. She's What's fine. That? Don't scare me like that. I thought you were a ghost. <laughs> okay, you're special. <sighs> if you're a friend of GN's, then you should hurry up and go after her. Uh, she heard that everyone was scared to go to the graveyard because of the ghost. Pokemon ghost? She went off to exercise the ghost on her own. <laughs> that is very cool. Hmm. Beats me. That's just what the rumors say. If you're curious, why not check it out for yourself? Okay, I know I'm reading this off, but was anybody else with me when the second I said exercise, I was about to say exercise the demon. I. It's a bad reflex. I forgot what show or whatever I heard that from, but it just, it just sticks in your brain. Where do I go? Um... I can use a cursor. Something. Yep. Dude, you gave me no heading whatsoever. Oh. That works. Well. Can I hit anything? Can I hit anything? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, no, for the water. I'm good. Oh, I gotta climb the stairs. And I keep forgetting I could run. Oh. Oh, it's cursor. It looks like I'm supposed to be down, but the only way to get through this thing is up. Hmm. So, I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do an announcement. Oh, hi. <laughs> Kiss the sand. Cool. Now what I was about to say was, um, I know I just looked at my microphone, which luckily isn't in the camera. I just, I'm having a very strange day today. Apologies. Um, I'm going to do an actual announcement video later tonight and post it. Um, Something seems to be up with my computer. Hopefully this is recording properly. I did a few test runs, but it was still a little choppy. I um, kind of upped the speed, so hopefully it will not burn out my CPU. I'm hoping. But um, I'm going to try one more live stream again this week. Because when I did Wolfenstein last week, which was a lot of fun, if, if you... Oh, I, Right, oh, oh. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh -oh. sorry. Oh, I'll get to you in a moment. Ha, ah, you missed. Now. Uh, one more. What? As I was saying, um... Wolfenstein, the new order was fun and fascinating. Had one <laughs> saving moment that I would have had to edit, but the thing is, the recorded versions of those episodes are so choppy, it's hor it's horrendous, which makes me feel just which makes me feel bad for the people that were actually watching me on Twitch because I can't, unfortunately, with ouch, unfortunately, when um I'm live streaming, my Twitch on my computer isn't that fast anyway. So unfortunately, I can't really see what's going on. I can only hope that from your end, it's a lot smoother. But because of that, no way. because the recordings were so choppy, it makes me nervous. So what's going to happen is, 
Oh, cool. It's not going down. Awesome. What's going to happen is I'm going to do one more... Uh, I'm going to do one more live stream. But it won't be Wolfenstein. And the reason is because if this does not work, I'm actually going to stop live streaming for a while until I get a much better computer, which sadly will take a while because a good computer for this is roughly around two to three thousand dollars so that'll take me a moment but i'll still be doing episodes and things like this that won't be a problem where am i going but uh, the reason this is why i'm not going to do wolfenstein because i don't want to continue it only for it to be more choppy um i've already posted the first episode that was recorded which if you've seen it i've seen it. it's very choppy if the live stream does not work i plan to re-record the first three hours Sadly, they won't be live reactions, but at least you'll be able to see the game. Um, and then from then on, I'll just continue Wolfenstein like I do all these other games. They'll be episodic. Um, so the game I'm going to do, I'm actually going to look around here right now, and we will get to that by the end of this video. I'm really not sure. I have a lot of... I have a lot of games stored on just my hard drive. No. Stored on just my hard drive that I have not even touched. In fact, I just downloaded one today. Something called Cross Out, Cross Card, something. So, cool. I will honestly, literally, just blindly pick a game at random to play for next for my next Twitch stream, which will be Thursday. Um, my if things go well and I can continue on, then I will do one Friday where I will. If it goes well, I will continue on Friday with Wolfenstein, but I'll still re-record the first three hours. That way, you can have a clear version of what's going on, and then I will honestly just start posting them out throughout the whole weekend, all six hours, because I'll probably do three hours um, Thursday and Friday as well. I'll just do them late at night. <laughs> Hi. Hey, dude. Dodge, dodge, dodge. So I'm getting a lot of different ideas on how to get these things to work better. Um, sadly, my computer, darling as she is, I mean, I, I commend her for lasting this long, but she is a she is a five-year-old desktop, and anybody who loves computers is well aware that laptop, uh, not laptops, although they're bad too. Computers, as far as lifespan goes, are almost as bad as cell phones. At least with cell phones, oh no, cell phones are terrible. Cell phones last just a year before something new comes out and they try to tell you how your phone's obsolete. But with computers, as long as you get the right pieces attached to it, more than likely you're good for what you're doing. And what I was doing originally was just... Oh! What? We just gonna... We're just gonna accept that. Um... Before I even started live streaming and doing videos, the main thing, don't shoot me yet. The, ooh, golden meat. The main thing I was doing was writing, um, if not small scripts, then working on one of the few books I'm writing. Other than that, I was just doing small little projects just for the heck of it to keep my skills fresh with editing. Um, I actually went to school for video production. And my favorite out of all of them was editing. It was just fantastic. Um, second from editing was uh, music production. Wait, oh, did I not finish you? Oh, hi. I love music production because, in truth, you can have a fantastic product. Um, just for the heck of it, take, for example, Dragon Ball. Oh, um, not even Dragon Ball. Look at the guys on Team Four Star. I love these guys. If you have not heard of Team Four Star and you are a Dragon Ball fan, you're doing yourself a disser um, disservice. Check out TeamFourStar.com or just go to YouTube and type in Team Four Star and look at Dragon Ball Z Abridge. They are currently up to the Cell Saga. Like, they finished it. But the thing is, there are fewer episodes. It's much more hilarious similar to the original Dragon Ball but they tell the story properly I mean not saying that Akira Toriyama didn't but it's just he told us these guys told the story in a sense that it hi dang these guys tell the story in a sense that it makes sense okay make sure I'm not falling that it makes more sense not so much talking not so much eh, there's still a lot of screaming but not in a wasteful way. It's actually more hilarious. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be going to 
that way, but let's take out all these guys and get some skill points, huh? Um, and it's very enjoyable. And the the point I was getting at was that ooh, you're a you're a boss. Hi, boss. Oh, come on. The point I was getting at was when it comes to a good production, it doesn't matter how good your production quality your production quality is and team four star has magnificent production quality i mean they've even created some scenes and characters oh you're the villain oh crap oh that's just never mind good and dead <laughs> now the point i'm getting at is with music it doesn't matter how good your product is if you don't have the right music for it that could literally make or break your work and you're also I'm gonna get you who's ever shoot me in the back. I know who's shooting me in the back. I'm gonna get you. So you can have a fantastic product, but if your music doesn't do anything for it, it could literally destroy your work, no matter how good it is. So I ever since college, I was always in music production because for me personally, when it comes to music, I love I love the old stuff. I mean, I'm talking twenties to the forties, uh what is it? Um uh oh. I'm probably gonna mess up their name and please forgive me. I wanna say the Shir Ooh, treasure chest. The Shirley's who sang the song Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. I know they're not the ones who originally did it, but still I love their version. Oh, the platters. I mean, come on, if anybody loves 40s music, you definitely wait, that's not 40s, my fault. That is That is Ooh. Platters were the fifties, were they not? Hmm. But nevertheless. Absolutely love them, and they're that's a group that I know can't travel through time. But if I could, I would definitely go back there just to see one of their performances. I do know that really, I do know that to do that would be extremely difficult and unwise given that time period, but still, it would be worth it. I'm just saying, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look them up. The Platters, two particular songs. Um, I'm the great. Pretender and I say only the lonely. One song is titled um, Only You. I love that song. That is actually the first song I remember learning completely. I mean when you hear it, it's a it's a fairly short song and the lyrics are simple. But that doesn't stop it from being a magnificent song, especially a romance song. Not even just for their time, but for today's time. I mean Again, if it was possible to do time traveling, where I'm sure most martial artists would love to see, either see a fight, if not be trained, by Jackie Chan, Jet Li, and Bruce Lee, and Donnie Yen. Sorry, just four of my favorites, name dropping. But when it comes to music, just again, name dropping, I would love to see the Platters do something with um, Gerald LeVert, or um, Barry White, or even more so, Luther Vandross. Oh, the, those guys. Those crews will definitely make up one fantastic song. This is gonna hurt. Oh cool, I didn't notice that. If you look in the top right corner, you can see my shadow. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Um, They definitely put a lot of work into the detail. I mean, most games, what, 10 years ago, wouldn't have gone that far to show the shadow, so. Definitely loving that. Let's see if this works. Don't get Crap, crap, crap. Ooh. Need to land on the ladder. Okay. Is the whole thing gray? Wonderful! Now we're gonna. Now for a search party. Sorry, folks. I know I'm being extremely more chattier than I used Joint. Than I used to be before. I'm just in a very good mood. Today was a pleasant day. I mean. Ooh. Went to work, you know, nothing no different than anybody else, but just it wasn't stressful, it wasn't it wasn't exciting. I mean I I have my full time my full time job is my day job is a warehouse job. So nothing extravagant. Wow. Nothing extravagant or wild, but still, you gotta love those days that are just calm and smooth and really nothing nothing too terrible is going on. You just go about your day. 
now here I am playing a game with you guys. Just... You know what? Just the flames. Nice. In the face. Maybe not. Just the guts. Ooh, 20. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked because I'm seeing all these goodies all over the place. Now the question is, are they above ground? Oh, are they above ground or underground? Ah, ha, that's some thick grass. So in this case, everything's probably uh, above ground with me, and that's wonderful. Oh, cool. Oh, part of the range. I don't know why, I just suddenly got home on the range stuck in my head. Hmm. I'm not gonna take it, don't worry. <laughs> I don't know, continuing with the topic of music though, am I the only one? I mean, no disrespect to all the millennials or anybody who's under the age of 25. If you like today's music, especially hip hop, R&B and whatnot, more power to you. I'm not judging, everybody loves what they love. But for anybody who's over the age of 30, is it just me or has music really gotten... Uh, there's no easy way to say it. Has it gotten lazy? I mean, you think about rap and you think of, you think of old groups, I'm not naming anybody, but just in general, they were telling stories. They were sending out a message. Granted, they were also about, you know, Swearing their brains off and talking about how good life is for them, which is fine, but still, in the end, they had a point. Um, forget it. I mean, you know, you got M NWA, Tupac Shakur, um, uh, was it Easy E and all that. You have people who had me. Oh, Uncle L. Uh, sorry, LL Cool J. You got people that were just pouring their actual hearts out into their music, letting you know what they're feeling, what they're about, what they're going through. R&B was definitely no different, as I mentioned, Gerald LaVert, um, Johnny Gill, and whatnot. But you listen to some of these people today, I mean, officially for me, I knew we were done when I first heard uh, Soldier Boy Superman. I get it. It was catchy, that's fine. But after hearing it a few quintillion times, my brain finally clicked and said, what the heck am I listening to? And that's when I started paying attention, and most songs are just... Most of the stuff I'm thinking, I'm sure everybody's already said, you know, they only talk about their money, uh, the guys talk about women, women talk about controlling men, just nobody's actually telling a story. They're just, they're basically just saying how good life is and how much you wish you were them, and I'm one of those people where, eh, maybe not so much given all the drama so many of them are going through, but, I don't know, I just, I just miss soothing music. I mean, I'm, I'm saying all that now because I found out one of my favorite artists, you can judge, <laughs> is Celine Dion. I've loved this woman ever since I was a kid. My mother can tell you I was driving her crazy with her CDs. But, oh, she's been, mm, she's been there the whole time. Dang. But, um, I missed out on seeing her in Vegas. But wouldn't you know it? She's having a world tour, and she's going to be in two states near me. So hopefully I'll get to see her one way or the other. Come on, Jan, look how bright it is. Bright it is. There's no such thing as ghosts. It's just silly rumors. What are you doing? Wait, is somebody else there? Easy, it's just me. Man, you people are easy to scare. Don't scare me like that. I thought I was a goner. What a ghost I don't know how you plan on getting rid of the ghost if you're that scared of them. Well, somebody had to do something. Besides, I've been here. I've been here plenty of times before, and you see nothing, right? What about you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Came to find the ghost. If it's nice, I'm gonna invite it to join my crew. You know what? That'd be fun. Now it's officially a ghost ship. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're here. Will you help me look for the ghost? <laughs> Why not? The rumors say that the ghost was running across the pond. Maybe it's still there. There's a pond. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, there I am. Oh, wait, but, whatever, gotcha. Ow. 
I didn't know this one yet, but I kind of hope that there's some type of um, perk that will speed up the UFO traveling, because... I mean, not much for an attack, but it's definitely great to kill some type. <coughs> Excuse me. I think there's someone across the... Yeah, they look like villains. Oh, wait. Skill points. 230. There is one that... Nope. Uh, there's one skill point that if I go in observation mode, I can literally send a long shot. Is that it? Nope. There it is. It is 200. So if I do the observation mode and RT them, I can get them. What? what? I want to get stronger. Okay, 10 skills. Cool. Is that deep enough to hurt me? Ooh. That's eerie and pretty. Let's see. Oh, crap. They're good guys. Well, that was a waste of 200 skill points. Oh, well. I really like how the UFO, you can go into a straight flat wall, but it'll guide you up just enough so that you can flip over it. Is this going to work? Close enough. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. This wasn't my intention, but okay. Let's see. Maybe there's another way. Oh, my nose is buzzing again. Spring's coming and allergies is, are going to kick my butt. Ugh. Mm. Kids, don't forget your uh, allergy medicine this year. Pollen count's gonna be murdered. I just feel it. Um. Uh. Huh. Oh. Maybe. Well, there was a tree up here that could help, but it might work. It might work. Or I die. Ah, huh? uh, if only there was a way to grab something. But there's not. Maybe I can reach that. We'll try this one more time and see what's up. Can I reach it? Can I reach, can I reach it? No! Dang. Not what I meant to do. I'm trying to look at this map and figure out what the deal is. I mean... Obviously, I'm supposed to find something to get across over here, but... Maybe I was, maybe I just didn't observe enough where I was over there. I mean, it looked like there was nowhere else I can go, but maybe I didn't look hard enough. Oh, son of a monk. Sandy Beach. Excuse me.
Where'd you go? There you go. Really? Fine. We shall fly. Ah, crap! I have to work on that aim. Hey, peoples. Okay, everybody on this planet's a dunce. Are you gonna apologize for scaring me? No, you're a pirate. If you want to see a ghost so badly, I'll turn you into Ooh, really. Push. Whatever. Really? Whoop! Love the dodge. Enjoy your dip. Week. So the ghost was really just pirates. I call hacks. Guess I should go tell Deanne about them. She's gonna be so disappointed. Now, question. I can't. Ooh, okay, so maybe this is how I do the thing. I'm probably gonna mess it up, but let's look real quick. Okay, this should work. This should work. This should work. Hopefully, this works. No aim worth a darn. Crap. Cool. Don't get fly, 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 fly. Okay, 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 come! Oh well. There's gotta be some other way around. I know I can cheat just fast travel, but that's. well, cheating. Oh, pirates. Never mind. Go oh, hi. Cool, got some. Ooh, can I? Death from above. Okay, we're just gonna cheat. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Don't want to waste the time trying to get around the corner properly. Here. Hello. I think I hear the little Legend of Zelda music in the background. It's very faint. Hi, yo. <laughs> no, it wasn't a ghost. Just pirates. And that was that was lame. So it wasn't a ghost after all. Thank goodness. No, I want to join. How do ordinary pirates manage to run on water? That's pretty incredible. Dough or fruit or ingenuity. Yo or that. <laughs> I just hear a voice behind me. Hmm? Yo None of y'all. Yo Greetings, Luffy. Brooke. Oh, you know Brooke. No. Wait, you mean you know this ghost? Don't what? You pretty dead. I remember he was in opening credits, but jeez. Pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Brooke. And once I once ate the Revive Revive fruit. Oh, you're my other crew member. Revive Revive make you look dead? As a symbol of our new friendship, would you mind showing me your panties? There's another one! <laughs> That's about right. That's just how he is. That's so all you have to say about him? Yeah, I guess you just roll with it. Look at what he's wearing. Prince couldn't even pull that off. What are you doing here? Yes, well, after barely escaping with my life from the Sky Prison, I've been wandering around the island looking for everyone. Hey. Unfortunately, whenever any of the islanders saw me, they would go pale and start screaming. I wonder why. 
So I looked for a place where I could lay low for a bit, and wow, that's where you came up. Cool. At any rate, you don't seem like a bad person. Despite that he asked for your panties, but sorry for how, I ru how rudely I acted earlier. I'm Gian. I'll tell the honors about you, so why don't you go back to where your crew is? Thank uh, you. That's so kind of you. I will never forget this for as long as I live. <laughs> or at least I wouldn't if I was alive. Wait a minute. So you were already dead. Anybody watching? I mean, I don't really like spoilers, but please explain that. So he was a dead person who somehow ate a fruit. Revive a rye fruit, which brought him back to life as a skeleton? How did that work? Oosh. I really hope the show explains that. Now we know the ghost was actually Brooke, let's check out check out another place. Luffy. Just a moment. There's somewhere I'd like to stop by while we're here. Oh, of course. Uh oh. Mm. Parents? Mm -hmm. This is great belong to someone you know. Eh? The former leader of this island, my mom. Oh crap. I sometimes come to talk to her. Yo. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Apologies if I disturbed you. Aw. Everyone on the island is doing well. Not good, I'm afraid. Oh, I got you. Uh, things seem to keep getting worse by the day. But don't worry, mom. <laughs> I don't know how much I can... Wait, I don't know how much I can do on my own, but I know I can do something. Why do you have to face it all alone? Can't you ask the other islanders for help? I'm probably scared. Everyone else has their own things to worry about. I can't bother them with every little thing. I have to keep everyone safe, like my mother did. Oh, boy. Hi. Alright, that's all I had to say. Thanks for joining me, guys. You're all good. Not at all. It was an honor to pay my respects. Now then, I think I shall take adventure. <laughs> take advantage of GN's kindness, hospitality, and go back to the ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. My brain went such in the wrong direction. Good idea. I'll take you back to the ship so you don't cause any more uproars. Okay, see you later, Luffy. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, my brain. It's not my fault. He is the other perv. What can you expect? <laughs> Forgive me, Sydney. Trying to fix this stupid clock. There we go. <sighs> Earlier, I was talking about how cell phones are kind of a pain in the butt. Mine's definitely is. I have a Moto something or other with AT and T. Need I really say more? <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Is that? I guess that's the last one. Cool. And that's gotta be Usopp in Topaz Mine Town. We should fast travel. Save some time. What I was saying about the clock was, this is how I keep track of time so I don't overshoot over the hour. And for the weirdest reason, it kept jumping, like we're at 35 minutes now. It kept jumping between 3560, 3590. It's like, this, drive me nuts. Now, oh, I didn't choose. All right, they don't, there we go. Oh, right behind me. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm Idiot. <sighs> Who's that long nose guy? There we go. I keep telling him my dad bought it. Long nose, are you talking about Usopp? Where is he? <laughs> you know that guy or something? I just know his name. Then hurry up and get him out of here. He's trying to steal my dad's tools. I haven't done it yet. Home the miner. I haven't done it yet because Jeanne asked me to hold off, but if he keeps it up, I'm going to report him to the sailors. Oh, okay. So Jeanne, Jeanne's with him too, huh? All right, let's go find him. This girl's all over the place. Yeah, okay. So I was just glancing around real quick, seeing if there's another. There isn't, so. Find Usopp in. Topaz Mine Town. Oh, great.
Did I say two paths? I meant two paths. Ugh. Disappointed. I see. Oh, what the? So evil. Woo! Okay. Now, ooh, there we go. I see nothing. I don't follow any more. Nope. Whatever. Not worth it. Oh. Oh, come on! That's just wrong. There we go. Seriously? Not needed. Whoa, what was that? Really? That's just cheating. I can't see, I can't see, I can't. Oh, crap! Ugh. Woo! Oh, that was just. Mm. Mm So where exactly do I go? There's no heading, no oh boy, I'm way I'm way out of town. Fast travel please. Yeet. Okay, the kid mentioned tools, so he must be what? Nothing. Okay. I was kind of hoping maybe they talk to me so I could. Oh! There you are! Woo! Look at that schnoz! <laughs> Alright, party's over. Forget about your dumb tools and get out of here. Wait. Okay. I tell you, that's mine. Someone stole it from me. I bought this from the shop fair and square. You got any proof that it was yours? Please calm down, sir. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, dang. Nino knows there insisted the tools I bought were stolen and demanded I give them back to him. It's true. The ship was a wreck, so I started fixing it on my own. I looked away for a second and it was gone. That was about right. Nah. Sir, I don't suppose there's any way you could give those tools back to him, is there? Nadinga. I can't do that, not even for you. Look at that smile. Ugh. I will swallow your soul with my eyes. I paid good money for this. I can't let 
Let it go without an adequate compensation. Okay. Meaning. Does it have to be money? What about jewels? <sighs> well, as long as they have the same value, then we're good. Alright, that's, that's unfair. I'm sure I got plenty to cover that. Let's see, what are you talking about, Luffy? You must have seen it on top of Topaz Mine, too. The peak? Well, was there something there that I missed? Don't tell me you forgot. The top of the mine? You can't be serious. The Navy can controls all the mine's resource. Sure, we used to be able to mine them relatively freely, but you can't now. What if the Navy catches you? <laughs> Just another day? I forgot who I was dealing with, pretty much. Alright, in that case, I'm coming with you. Why? I mean, I'm not sure that's the best idea. You will get us caught. Was that supposed to- I just said it. You will get us caught. Are you hiding something on the peak? Some of those weird crystals that look like a bird? Are you sure we can trust it? Oh, we can trust her. It's just... Really helped me out, Nami. Well, that's good to hear. I just hope she won't report that you know what on the mountain peak to the Navy of... Or something? Did I miss something on one of the earlier episodes and just walk by it? She'd never do anything like that. If you say so, but you know, I just can't help but worry a bit. I'm gonna go on ahead. Hmm. Okay. So... That's where we're going? Yes. Defeat. Jewel mine. Is that it? Going to retrieve Usopp's tools of leaving the crew and time to the summit of Topaz Mine, but Usopp doesn't want to go. Instead, he suggests that they go after the jewels in the mine, go to Topaz Mine Town. But that's where I am. Okay. At least I have a heading now. Don't get oh! Just a little I know. Hey, I know. There must be jewels inside the mine, too, right? Yeah, that's true. Great, then let's start by looking for those. It is just about time for the sailors to change shifts, so this might be able to sneak in. Alright, that's how it is. Hmm? A treasure hunt sounds like fun, <laughs> but we are pirates. I'd say lustrous garlic gems, okay, that's cool, are your best bet for jewels that you can excavate in a short time. Ooh, I haven't used that word in a long time. It probably depends on how big they are, but three ought to be enough to buy back the tools. Where are those gems? So There used to be a lot of them on the mine's second floor. You can take mine shaft five to get there. But be careful, even during shift changes there are still sales all around. <laughs> of course, you coward. I think I'm gonna keep watch outside. Good luck finding the gems. Get Why could I get to the back of the brain? You can get you can get to the mine's halfway point from mine shaft eight on the second floor. Uh, let's meet up there once you're done collecting. Ooh. some. Right, see your food. Me, yeah, I do really want to come with. So I pretty much accepted the fact that I pretty much will play Luffy the entire game, which isn't bad. It's just it would have been cool to play as the other characters. You know, use their attacks, especially Sanji's kicks and Zoro's swords. Just two? Go down? Oh! What's up? No signs. Crumb. What do I get? Bronzor, Bronzor. Oh, what's that? Bronzor. Oh, at least we got some bronze. Bronze ore? I'm gonna have to double check that. I'm pretty sure bronze. Never mind. I'm pretty sure though. You have to mix two metals to make bronze, right? It wasn't just straight. What a weird sh shaped rock. Ooh. Ooh, that is cool looking. It's a serpent. Or. Oh, crocodile? Was it? Hi.
You're retired. scanned before. So is this the second floor? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to come back here off screen and get all these goodies. I won't waste the time to look for all of them. We're almost at our hour point. Let's see if we can get the tools and complete our crew. Uh-oh. I'm going outside. And it's blinding! Oh. That's a little lackluster. That's how I was blinded. I literally ran into an onslaught of bullets. Not sure what I'm talking about. Check out my uh, Tomb Raider folder. Had a lot of fun there. Wait a minute. Did I just turn around? I did. Oh, that's terrible. So if I see the blinding light, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, was that a chest? Oh. I'm actually quite disappointed. Dang. Oh, it's a light. Three! Uh, she said five, right? Um, go to five, but eight would be the halfway point? I don't know how that works, but... I know. Still, we got some goodies. Okay, where's he at? Oh, what? Who should I shoot? Ooh! Lustrous Scarlet Gem. Yay! No more of that. Okay, so safe to bet that all the gold, gold niches are Lustrous Scarlet Gems. And there's five. Yay. Hi! I thought I saw someone else. I saw you over there, but I thought I saw someone else. Hi. Hello. Nope. None of that. Oh, crap. Hi! Hi! That. Ah! Scarlet! I need three, right? Oh, yep, two or three. Huh? Huh, what, where? Oh, did he see me? Whatever. Catch the fist! business uh let's see the exit was mine shaft eight it was okay i'm really gonna go back i will go back for the others off screen so definitely gonna mine this place the blinding hi <laughs> i got the jewels 
Although they're a bit smaller than I thought. You know what? I don't think those will be enough to buy back your tools. I guess we've just got to go to the peak. So dana. So I don't know. Guess you're right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> just get. What was it in Skyrim? The thousand trail, the thousand step trail, or pilgrimage? <laughs> yes, I have Skyrim stuck in my head now. My bad. Kiss the pistol. What the? Hit people in the back, huh? Okay, what was that creepy music? What's up? What is that? Go to the peak of the mountain. I'm working on it. Ooh, tree! Oh, could I have gotten away with that? Probably not. Yes, I'm messing with him. I just, I had to. Yeah, this ought to be enough to buy it back. Whoa, whoa, wait, what'd I get? What, what'd I do? I don't see Usopp or Jan anywhere, though. Where could they be? Look for Jan and the others at the peak. underground like last time. Oh, chips! Goody. Love the blank look on his face as you're trying to open the chest. Like, is that another day? Is that the ship? Notice that. Wait. What? You're implying that they should be right here. Um, I huh? guess this is really all I've got. Huh. 
Can anybody else see anything? I see nothing. Um... Guys? Mina? Okay! Wait, how the- Whatever. Roll with it! Well, that's- Alright, you got me. This is the Omni Cannon. I can fire anything at all into the stratosphere. Why? As soon as you have time to build that, you don't really mean to use that to fire a Luffy at the Sky Prison, do you? Probably. Ah! Uh -huh. Wait, what? So I suppose it does look kind of fun. You're special. And it looks very well made. Nah. How long is its flight path? What is it made out of? Do you have blueprints for it? Nah. I can't answer all of that. You have to ask Frankie. Also, you. What do you want to know all that for anyway? Uh, you're not planning to turn us in, are you? She probably wants to join you. To be perfectly honest, I just thought we could use this to get. Oh. Okay. Whoa. There's a Sky Island here, too. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, Sky Prison, Sky Island, Sky Pia. I understand. Eh. I've never been there, but oh, that sounds like a blast. Let's get going. Later, please. Yes. Right now, we need to get my tools back, so let's dig up some jewels and get back there. Eh. Alrighty. I thought I already got some. You should be good. What? Excavate the large Whoop. jewel. What large jewel? Did I already get it? Oh. Yes. All right. Oh, you're actually talking about that thing. All right. This time we're gonna dig some jewels up for sure. There's gonna be a shift change here too. Hmm. I'll keep a lookout. Usopp, just focus on digging. That's supposed to be the five ton hammer. Are you done yet? I'm almost there, just a little longer. What do you think you're doing here? Well, of course, we're caught. No! That looks like somebody in charge. Do we have another boss fight? Yeah! Now you! Whoops! Missed! Small price first! Oh, just for that. Where'd you go? What the? Okay. Y'all saw that, right? I got shot from behind. Nope, you missed. Oh my god, are y'all shooting her? Oh, just for that. Oh crap, ain't you? Nope. Kiss the flames. Yeah, I know. Okay, get back here. Ha! <laughs> Doubles. Oh, I missed. I heal faster. Boo. Boo on you. Took a while, but I got it. Come on, let's hurry back. What? Bring the jewel back. So, how far do I have? So, out of curiosity. Woo! We're just gonna fast travel that, shall we? <laughs> Only reason we take the long way right now is to uh, fight more Marines and get more skill points. I will do that off camera. So that next episode we'll have a few more extra goody attacks. Mm. Be here. Where are you all? Mm. Here's your jewel. Give me the tools. What's that? Ooh. So you did. I can't believe it. Since you claim to be pirates, 
I thought for sure you were trying to deceive me so you could steal it. Oh. Mm. After all, you and I made a promise. We bring you the jewels, you give us the tools. Mm. I did, didn't I? Nah. You will keep your promise, won't you? Here you go. Okay. Sorry for suspecting the worst of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we are pirates, so we can do it. Thanks a bunch. I couldn't have got them back without you. Now I can make some emergency repairs to the Sunny. I'd better hurry back. In that case, I know a shortcut. See you later, Luffy. Contact me if anything happens. Will do. There's everyone. And with that, we have our entire crew. We have Usopp. Uh, brain just went blank. We have Usopp, Rono Zoro, Nami, Chopper, Sanji, Frankie, apparently, uh, Neko Robin, and Brooke. Brooke's gonna take some getting used to. But, anyway, let's go ahead and save that second real quick. Thanks, we have done a little bit more stuff as time has progressed, but now we are at 10 hours and 49 minutes. So let's see what we can do in the next hour when I see you guys in the next couple days. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. And see, I'm in a very good mood. I was really chatty today for a change. So um, as I mentioned, the Twitch streaming, I'm going to do a full video on this. But to explain it, we may or may not be doing it anymore this Thursday. I plan to do it around 8 p.m. Thursday night, Eastern Standard Time. If it turned out to be just as choppy as I believe it was last Thursday, then I'm going to stop doing Twitch streams at least until luck is on our side and I'm able to afford an actual gaming computer. That does not mean I'm going to stop these videos. Um, I know I'm very far behind on schedule, so I'm still working on the animated um, uh, shorts I want to do. Man, I mean, I knew that was going to take a while, but... <laughs> My drawing skills still need some work. I'm trying to convert it from just sketches to the Photoshop um, outline, which surprisingly isn't working the way I thought it would. But along with that, it is time. I'm way behind on this one. It's time to start the um, exercising videos. Well, I mean, I've already been doing small stuff, but I haven't been keeping track of everything. And I want to start something in May, which... Anybody that I work with have seen me do this before, a couple years before, where I'll do five-mile walks, and I can do them uh, maybe in about an hour and a half. I mean, maybe that's good time, maybe that's bad time. For me, that's decent time, doing five miles in an hour and a half. That's that's nice. So, um, uh, those videos will be coming out um, shortly. I can't wait to start that up with you guys, doing the adventure with me. Let me know your feedback and your um any tips you may have, I will happily take them. Um, I won't drag this video anymore. I will mention all that in upcoming updated videos. But one thing I will state, though, if it turns out that I can no longer do the Twitch streams because my computer can't handle it, what that will mean then is that I will be posting these um, gaming videos five times a week. So I mean Monday through Friday, every single day you will get a gaming video. Now, we're going to continue One Piece until we finish it. Um, eventually, I intend to go back to Kingdom Hearts. I was told that that did a lot better the later you go. Jump Force, we will see, because that game was very disappointing, but I'm a tad bit of a completionist nut. And not completely, but enough where I'd at least want to finish the story. But next week, I'm sure most of you already know, um, Mortal Kombat 11 will be coming out. And I plan to have a lot of videos for that in the first week alone. Like, there'll be a lot of small ones, you know, like, covering all the fatalities, showing um, a few of the fighting towers if they're in there. I really don't know what it is, because I've stayed away from all trailers, all information. Other than the one opening trailer that we saw, which I'm guessing is the open cinematic, opening cinematic, I know nothing about this game. I don't even know what the um, special characters are going to be coming in. So that would be fun. Um, actually had a funny thought while I was at work today. Uh, you know how they have Mortal Kombat has friendship? Imagine if they had something, I'm making up a word, called commonality. And by that I mean, I imagine Sub-Zero, just before he kills somebody, he transforms into Dave Chappelle's, uh, Rick James. And just out of nowhere says his catchphrase, what did the five fingers say to the face? 
and when he slaps him, it decapitates him. And then when the voice says, um, what is it? Sub Zero wins commonality. All of a sudden, you have Dave Chappelle scream out, I'm Rick James, bitch. And just, I don't know. That was just something dumb I thought of. But it would be kind of cool if they could do something like that. Um, each character can have their own little catchphrase. But <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling. Everybody, I hope you have a wonderful evening. I hope you're having a magnificent afternoon. And I will see you all again very soon. And until then, one and all, <laughs> take care.